Hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be finding you the best flare jeans on ASOS, if at all possible. I have just been living in flare jeans all the time and I just thought I would order about seven, eight pairs from ASOS and see what they're like and save you the trouble that I had of going and scrolling for ages on ASOS, trying to find the best flare jeans. I looked at the ratings, I sort of just based it on like the way it looked, and yeah, here we are with this video. <laughs> yeah, if you would like to see this video, then please carry on watching. So, I have quite a few pairs of flare jeans to show you today. So the first pair of jeans I've got are actually Bershka. In fact, there's only actually two pairs of ASOS branded jeans in this video. Um, the rest are different brands. So these ones are Bershka. I mean, there's not gonna be much to say about all of these because I haven't tried them on, but I really like this color of denim. I mean, that is a big part of when I like a pair of jeans is the color of them. So I really like the color of these ones. And I just thought the flare was so like dramatic that it really really intrigued me so yeah I thought these ones look really nice they seem quite stretchy which I'm quite hopeful about so yeah we'll see what those ones are like so these are the Bershka flare jeans I'm apologizing because I had to angle the camera lower so that you can see the bottoms of the jeans but yeah so without shoes on they do go all the way down to the floor which is good and I really like the color of these they are, I don't know, just the perfect tone of blue, I think. They're really, really stretchy and they're kind of like like a jegging material. But they're really comfortable and really stretchy and quite a dramatic flare. I don't know if you can tell, but they really like <laughs> go into the knee and then they flare out, opposed to flare out from the top, which I think I've got a, I've got a pair of flare jeans from H&M and that's kind of what they do. They kind of like flare out from the top but yeah really really comfy I guess because it's like this jogging material so I can really get my hands in my pockets and stuff the ones I have in H&M are beautiful but I can't get my hands in my pockets because they're that tight fitting I think they look really nice I'll do a little turn around I think they're really really flattering yeah a really really comfy pair of flare jeans that I would actually really consider keeping Next up we've got a pair of Levi's. I had to at least include one pair of Levi's because I, I have been slowly just loving them. I, I bought my first pair of like cream straight legs last year and I also bought a pair of shorts recently. So these are the Math Club flares. I'm not gonna lie, they look a bit short. They look tiny in person and so I'm thinking that they're not gonna be long enough. I don't know about the flare if I'm gonna be honest. It was more like I just wanted to include at least one pair of Levi's, do you know what I mean? I feel like I wanted to have a big mix of like prices and brands. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the length and I feel like the flare isn't big enough but I mean we'll have to see when I try them on. I'm hoping they'll surprise me. Actually no I'm not because then I'll have to hear them. <laughs> so we now have a pair of Levi flares. I don't know exactly what the style is. Oh, it's the Math Club flare. Um, anyway, these are interesting. I don't know how I feel about them because they're a bit shorter. They kind of cut off at the ankle. They fit lovely, like they really cinch in around the waist, which I really like without being too tight fitting. I feel like they fit really nicely around the waist. Um, and everywhere really. Yeah, again, I really like this tone of blue, quite similar to the Bershka ones, but you can tell that they flare out if you look at them straight on. I feel like from the side, um, I don't know if you could see that, I feel like they just look like straight leg jeans from the side, or if you were walking, they would just look like straight leg jeans, right? Um, so I don't get like a massive flare jeans feel from these maybe if you are a bit scared to go for flare jeans and you kind of just want to tip <laughs> you kind of just want to dip your toe in then maybe get these but I would consider these straight leg jeans maybe that's just me I don't know they're just they have a little bit of flare you know when you stand still there but it's only really when you're standing still and from the front so yeah I think they fit really lovely I just I think I prefer a bit more of like a longer and dramatic flare so yeah, but apart from that, they fit really nicely. But yeah, I just I just get a bit of a straight leg feeling from these. Next, we've got a pet for a brand called Dr. Denim. 
I've never heard of this brand before, but I mean, you'd hope they'd know what they're doing, wouldn't you? A brand called Dr. Denim. These feel, again, quite like stretchy, which I do like. Quite similar to the first ones, I wanna say, like the same sort of color, quite a dramatic flair, which we love. And yeah, I feel like the first pair and these ones are quite promising. Yeah, I really like the look of these ones. So I'm interested to see what these will look like as well. So hopefully you can still see the bottoms of these flares. Like the Bershka ones, these are a little bit longer and dragging on the floor, which I do like, so it means if you wear chunky trainers, they're gonna look really good. These are a little bit more of a lighter blue, I wanna say, in the last few pairs. Um, so not my favorite color for denim. I prefer them either to be like a mid blue or a dark blue. And these are definitely like a light blue. They fit really nicely around the waist. Again, they're kind of like a jeggingy material, so they are really, really comfy. However, I don't know how I feel about this um, waistline. It's definitely not a high waist. It feels more like um, a mid waist, maybe. Not quite a low waist, but it definitely is a bit lower than I would usually have it, so that's to bear in mind. And again, yeah, they're quite tight fitting at the top and then they flare out the knee, which I do really like. I just think it, I don't know. Do you think it looks a bit weird that it's like a mid-waist jean? I feel like it does a little bit. I mean, all in all, they fit really nicely, really tight hugging around the waist, but without being uncomfortable. This is the back, which I think the back is really, really flattering actually. Possibly like the most flattering out of the three. But yeah, I just don't know about the tone of blue, honestly, I think that's the thing I'm, the least sure about. If they were like a mid blue, I feel like maybe I would love these. Yeah, so these are the brand Dr. Denim, which actually I haven't heard of that brand before, but um, yeah, I really like these actually. The next pair are from Monkey. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried a pair of jeans from Monkey before. So far, I feel like these are the ones I'm, I don't know. I'm just not sure about this whole, I don't know what you call it, but it's like not just one color, it's kind of multi. <laughs> it's, it's like a mixed color denim, do you know what I mean? Which isn't my absolute favorite. And yet again, I feel like the flare isn't super dramatic, but I, I did want to include lots of different brands. Yeah, these are definitely the ones I think, I don't know, I'm least, least sure about now compared to the other ones that I've just picked up. They feel quite stretchy as well, so hopefully they'll be quite comfortable. Monkey clothing has never disappointed me in the past, so I don't know, I'd hope that their jeans were quite good quality as well. Okay, so I think this is the first pair of flare jeans that I don't like. They're not bad at all, but I think it's to do with like the mixed tones of blue. Yeah, so these are from Monkey, I didn't even say. They fit really nicely around the waist, definitely like a really nice high waist flare jean. But they're kind of, the length of them is okay. They kind of go right to my foot, so they're not really long and they're not short. They're kind of somewhere in the middle. I don't know about the flare. I just think it's a little bit meh. Like, it's not very, at the bottom, it's not even that big of a flare. Do you know what I mean? So I kind of feel like they're a very mild flare jean, basically. Which, you know, for some people that'll be really good. And they look really good. Don't get me wrong, like, they fit really nicely. And they look great. I just think they don't really excite me. Do you know what I mean? And I think, compared to some of the other flare jeans, I think I just prefer those a bit more and I prefer having like a one tone jean. That's the back of them, probably not the most flattering compared to a few others, but I think that's down to they're not super skinny at the top. That That's those ones, um, probably my least favorite so far. Definitely not a bad pair, um, like I said, if you like a subtle flare jean then you might really like these ones. We now have a pair from Reclaim Vintage, which now looking at the back of them, I really hate this patch. I really, really dislike it. It just looks so dark. And again, like the monkey pair, it's not just like one straight color. I don't know if you can see, it's not as bad as the monkey ones, but it is sort of like, it's got bits of like dark blue in it, especially like at the top, can you see there? Um, I'm not sure about the big rose gold button. I'd just prefer like a yellow gold, if I'm gonna be honest, but have a look at the flare. The flare looks a lot more promising, a lot more promising. However, at the bottom, we've obviously, we've obviously got this like, I don't know what you call it, but it's like it's not been sewn up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about those ones. So these flare jeans are from Reclaimed Vintage. I've noticed, and it's probably because 
I guess it's like a brand that does like more vintage clothes. This is the first pair of jeans that doesn't really hug your waist. So there's a little bit of excess around the waist. It can, always, it can always be down to sizing, but I've ordered the same size in pretty much everything. And these are the only ones I've noticed that there's like quite a big gap at the back, um, which I wouldn't really be happy about in a pair of flare jeans. Mom jeans, that's fine but not in a pair of flare jeans. The colour is really, really nice. And I do like how big the flare is. The only thing is though, that the bottoms of the jeans, you can already see that bits of fabric are coming out of it and it'll probably snag over time. I don't know if I absolutely love these. I think these are, I feel like I prefer the Dr. Denim ones over these, even though the Dr. Denim ones are a little bit lower. I think the other ones are a bit flattering. This is the back. I'm not really sure about this patch. I feel like it sticks out a little bit and not super flattering on the bottom. A lot of the other pairs of jeans were definitely a bit more flattering on the back. So yeah, I feel like these, again, aren't one of my favorite pairs, but they do look really nice. And I guess if you want a little bit more room around the waist and you don't really like a tight waist in your jeans, then maybe you'd really like these. But yeah, the shape of them is really lovely. It's just that it's not tight around the waist and the seams at the bottom of the jeans really. And yeah, so again, not one of my favorites. Oh no, these feel like a literal pair of jeggings. Um, these are the first ones from ASOS, which are, I don't know what type they are. They also smell really weird. It's definitely these jeans, they smell really weird. Oh my God, they absolutely stink. They like, rusty or dusty or something oh i'm gonna try and hold them away from me they literally look like a straight leg jean and this color blue i literally can't hold it up they're literally like a bright blue um which i don't like and they also look really short i'm not too promised for those ones i don't i don't think those are gonna be a good pair <laughs> so this is the first pair of asos um branded jeans and um my first impressions aren't that great for a pair of flared jeans. The colour I really like, so I'll start with that. It's also really tight around the waist, which is really nice without being uncomfortable. Again, more of like a jegging material, which seems to be a winner with a lot of these jeans. Uh, jegging material just seems to really work in a pair of flared jeans, but these are just not flared jeans. And so I'm gonna put these at like the bottom of the list so far because like, just look at them. They're just not flared. Like these are just not flared, which is a shame because the color is beautiful. They are really, really comfortable. And oh my God, there are no pockets. I don't like that. That is weird. What the hell? That is so weird. I don't like that at all. No, these are going to the bottom of the list. No, no, no. I don't like to judge by the cover, but these these ASOS jeans, I don't, they must have looked good in the picture because they don't in person. These are like a greeny blue. I think, is that picking up on camera? They're like a greeny blue. And these ones are even shorter. <laughs> Look at them. Again, they have like the unsealed bottom, whatever you want to call it, but they're just, I don't know about these last two pairs, people. I, I just, I just am not too sure at all. <laughs> so I thought ASOS couldn't get any worse. <laughs> I really thought they couldn't do any worse than the last pair. I honestly could only just about tie these. Um, my tummy is like dying right now. Managed to can, I managed to just about do them up. These are beyond tight on my waist, like way too tight. And I got the same size as all the other jeans, so these are really really tight so if you do like these i would definitely go up a size up a waist size the crop i don't know what's going on there they are not flared i don't know what they are i don't know if i have anything good to say about them like the pockets aren't even like right in the pockets aren't even like in the right place i feel like they should be higher up these are these aren't good these are really not good if i've taught you anything in this video it's that asos branded jeans aren't the one um when it comes to flare jeans and that you should go with the brands <laughs> because apart from the asos ones all the others have been fine really um no these are just a no <laughs> so there we go that is the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it and possibly found some flare jeans that you think you will love 
I'm hoping that there were some good pairs in there. I feel like there will be or else this video will not be going up. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed filming it and yeah, I'm thinking I might do more videos like this in the future because I just feel like they'll be super helpful. I definitely would find them quite helpful because I absolutely hate searching for jeans. It's like a loathing of mine. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.